Okay, everybody, uh, we had a little bit of a hiccup here in the recording. Um, the video was paused uh, because of a mosquito. <laughs> and the uh, mosquito was, uh, I think, killed. And then, um, as a result, the recording was never unpaused. So we went ahead for a little bit and then realized, whoops, it's not recording. And now we are trying to backtrack. What we did, though, uh, to backtrack is we did shuffle the AI deck with the applause still at the bottom. So, once again, we don't know what's coming up. But we do know what's coming up in the hit locations deck because we saw those top three uh, hits coming up. The, uh, the lenses are still open. So we've just kind of reset everything. Um, and we're going to go ahead and play it as though, uh, you know... The way it's supposed to be, I guess. All right. Um, yeah, and the uh, last we left off, uh, we had just wounded him. And we were trying to finish off his... Uh, uh, we're trying to hit him with the respect. So sorry, a little bit of hiccup here. We've, we're trying to figure out where we were. Uh, we went forward a little bit further until we realized there was a, a problem. So just give me a second here. Okay, yeah, we reset everything. It was uh, one little hiccup there. The red head went up and hit, uh, and then we had flipped to respect. Okay, sorry about the uh, confusion there, everybody. It's on our part, our fault for the uh, recording getting paused, but now it is ticking away. So uh, let's continue on. Um, next up, according to our attack pattern, is Horned Dog Joe. Now he needs a lantern to hit. Come on, big money. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dash, I think, so that I can get this uh, hit in. I'm going to knock him back one, so... Oh, boy. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and dash. And then, um, whoops. There, restart my music. One, two, three. Yeah, here. And then uh, his regular move is up to here. You will knock him back here and go up one. And go ahead and attack. Now I need a lantern. Come on, big money. Oh! oh! <laughs> off the lantern. Alright. Well, the Jeez. good news is... One, two, three, four, five, six. He's still in range of you. And you still have your gloom arrow. So that is five well, chances to get a lantern. Gloom it is. Otherwise, uh, somebody's going to be in big trouble with the next card coming up. Because all the lenses are open right now. And we know this next hit location is going to shut those lenses, and that's all we care about at this point. But you need to get a lantern. Oh, so here we go. Trouble. No pressure. And? <laughs> Blocked. Two nines. Nothing. Probably, uh... We're going to die here. <laughs> a, I don't know what to say about that. All right. Next turn. Next turn. Pass the token. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in trouble. All right. Uh, oh, it's a duration card. That buys so, us a little time. Yeah, when this is drawn face down, the monster points, uh, proudly raises a single finger. When this card is drawn face up, target survivor with most armor points. Attackers Doom perform Ghost Step and then uh, hits not so bad. Bash knockback 19 basically throws you across the Ooh. map. During the knockback, yeah. instead of stopping the survivor at the boar's edge, the survivor f goes flying off into the darkness, never to be heard from again. Oh. Dead. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Survivor the most armor points. Oh, that might be Corn Dog Joe now, but I could easily fix that by just uh, jamming the. Uh, whoops. Yeah, we moved some stuff over here uh, last time. Okay, um, yeah. Quick uh, couple things had to be fixed there. Anyway, um, he if he's going to knock back somebody, we want to make sure he knocks us into something. Slams us into step. something. Ghost Actually, uh, one time I got collided. I collided with something, but it wasn't destroyed. So I don't think that does anything to me unless it's destroyed. If it's... The stone columns, if you destroy them, they, they suffer one random damage to the uh, hit location. Well, step one is who is he going to go for? Uh, the person with the most armor. So here's uh, 20 on this person. And this... Yeah, this it's going to go after Corndog Joe. So Corndog Joe unless, needs to... Unless, unless the tank eats that fresh acanthus. Yeah. 
That's the other thing. Corn Dog Joe, he's gonna ghost step, right? Right. Target's doomed, well, so he can't do anything. So he's gonna ghost step and then attack. So the goal here is to make sure that he ghost steps um, and then knocks Corn Dog Joe into the stone face. First, right. Corn Dog Joe needs to be here because then he'll ghost step here, and then he'll slam Corn Dog Joe into the stone face. Okay? If we want Corn Dog Joe to take it. Um, the tank would probably be the better one, but I would rather keep the Acanthus and let Corn Dog Joe take a, a hit. He could take that. That's not so bad. Okay. So, uh, yeah. It's our turn now. When this card is drawn face up, you target through. Yeah, so it's going to be Corn Dog Joe. So, uh, again, we're going to let uh, the Axemen try to get the kill shot, right? Yeah. Uh, because he can hit perfect hit on a 9 and 10 at this point. Yep. And uh, doesn't even have to do the wound anymore. Next is Corn Dog Joe, and finally you. Right. Okay, let's try it. Axemen. Of course, the Axemen could. Uh, well, yeah, any, if, if he hits, he hits. If he misses, he misses. That's all there is to it. It's perfect hit or nothing. Nines and tens. What about this? Well, let's stop for a second. What if, uh, before I even do this. What if uh, I let uh, you go first and you let me roll an extra bone by encouraging? Ah, you want me to drum? Yeah, give me an extra bone for everybody. Okay, uh, you know that means that you don't get any strength points though, right? Um, I don't think I need strength points on just a perfect hit. Okay, then I am perfectly fine with drumming. All right, drumming it is. All right. You're first, but it doesn't matter anymore because we're out of order. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. So you drum, and I get a plus one speed token until the end of the round. Okay, I drum. Everybody, I think, gets a plus one speed token. Yeah, uh, but you can't surge or anything, so... I drum, which means that I have to burn my encourage. Yep. Which costs me a survival. Yep. All right. And that says that... Everybody is encouraged because they're not deaf. And because you're a leader. Because I'm a leader. When you encourage a survivor, which is everybody, they get plus one speed until the yep. end of the round. We're going to do this now. Now Killer Joe's going up. And I'm going to just to show you, I'm going to throw this green die with it. This green die is the encouraged die, okay? Okay. <laughs> so we know. Okay, I, I, I'm taking 50% of the credit if the green die does it. I'm giving you all the credit if the green die does it. Here we go. Green die missed it. Ugh. Oh, it's ah. horrible. It's horrible, ladies and gentlemen. It's bad. Uh, it's bad. All right. Hey, you know what the good news is? There's always next round. Corn Dog Joe is going to go over here. Yeah, nothing flashy. Here is the red die now, which is the speed die. I need a lantern now. I'll still take my credit if that one hits. Oh, it rolled off the lantern again! <laughs> oh, man! Unbelievable! Uh, okay. Okay, you know. We'll we'll deal with this as it, as it comes. We're done. Passing the token to you. Uh, Alright, well. Yep. Target's doomed. Form ghost step. Opposite side. Two to hit. Uh, two attack dice, right? Um, three to hit me. Four damage each hit. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Try to miss one if you could. I got a two and an eight. Uh, the eight will hit, but I will dodge that. Thank you very much. Yeah, and there's no after damage, so there's no knockback or bash. It is a trigger, but it triggers on after damage, so that's all there is to that. That's all she wrote. Now it's our turn. Okay. Um, same bat plan? Same bat channel. All right, drum again. I'm done. Okay. Did you do your survival? No, nope, I'm getting it. I'm just very excited about the chance of getting credit for not doing anything. No, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because you wasted your action then, because you... <laughs> you could have spent your action. You don't spend an action to drum. 
That's just part of uh, your... Uh, yeah. You could have attacked last turn. Oh, wow. Oh, well, we blew that. Well, 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 oh, I guess wow. I'm going to shoot now. Um, well, we got to do the order first. I'm still putting uh, red first, and then green, and then blue. Okay. So you just... So uh, that means that I, I come back on the board, then. You, came you know what? Up. That's fine. That's fine. I'm sure that we did something good for ourselves with the reset. All right. One, two, three. And I am attacking with the extra green die now, because I still have that speed buff. Come on. Come on, drummer boy. Nines. Come on, drummer oh! boy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Got it. It was the green die first, but then the red die had to finish it off. Yeah. All right. Well, he's not actually dead. Nope. Um, I hit him. Yes. Okay. So he's impressed. So he draws his blade. All yeah. survivors are doomed. Um, survivors within two spaces are scorched by hot air from the speed of the attack. They suffer two damage, and their flammable gear is destroyed. I don't have any flammable gear. Um, the flower badge is not flammable. Huh. No, it's metal. And then uh, this gear is not flammable. Nothing here. The monster grease is uh, soluble, sticky, consumable. Nope, not flammable. Nothing's flammable. So I'm good. Yeah, grease is not flammable. That one really scratches my head, too. But the problem here is that was the tank, um, so the tank might be in big trouble here because <laughs> he has no acanthus. And remember, Corndog Joe was the one who was supposed to get the acanthus uh, shot. So it's okay. We're going to we're gonna be okay. All right. Um, so he will, uh, let's see, two damage to uh, both Corndog Joe. So you do have to roll the this. Roll the damage to Corndog Joe, random location, two damage. One one location die? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, I've moved this one up there. That's a leg. That's okay. And two to the uh, killer Joe. All right. And that's going to be a body. Body is uh, going to be a heavy wound, but I'll take it. <laughs> and then roll a d10 on a two plus. The target suffers 10 damage. I'm going to be in big trouble here. So Four. I suffer 10 damage with a minus to severe injury, so roll the location. All right. Do you have a preference? Um, nothing critical. Body. Like, maybe not the body? You said it after I rolled it. I get a minus four to this roll, so uh, Killer Joe's in trouble. Um, I get a minus two, so I think he's dead. <laughs> minus two? That's a record, I believe. Yeah. Killer Joe is Golly. dead. Golly. Uh, but we do get uh, a basic resource out of that. Even when we lose. I'm going to flip this. It is hide. Uh, okay. Um, so he's dead. So that's the end of that. And then, here we go. Everybody gets plus one hunt XP. Okay. That puts Archer at the final uh, age uh, milestone. Plus one spear. He had spear. He wouldn't have got the the uh, weapon proficiency. And he gets a archer gets a weapon proficiency and the final age one. So here's your specialization. Yeah. Okay. When attacking with a bow, you may reroll misses once, limit once per attack. But you're basically going to retire next time you go out on a hunt. It'll be your last time. That'll be good to use it once. Yeah. For one time. And then my uh, my age milestone. Come on, give me something good. Ten. Ten? Ten is, uh, minute luck. Alright. Yep, raise your luck up one. Yeah. Could've used that before. Alright, and now rewards! Yay! We know what's coming. The hand hesitates before leaving. Roll a d10. And I got the kill, so you mind if I roll this? I do not mind. Alright, here we go. Uh, how about a nine? Dang it! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The hand bows graciously and vanishes, leaving a package carefully wrapped in one leather strange resource. We do need leather. Um, inside is a skull and five basic random resources. Thank you. But he took somebody with him. And uh, that leather is probably somebody's cured hide that he killed before. And the skull and the basic resources are probably from their body. So, How was uh, that a reward? They killed somebody. That's not a reward. Skull. 
It's like respect. <laughs> and for the respect, I'm going to blow your stuff up and kill one of your guys. No. Oh. How is that respect? Uh, I'm not sure. We do get leather. And we get uh, five basics, right? We, we need stuff, uh, though. Let's see here. Five random basics. So, you know, if you want to go five love juices, that would be great. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these. Uh, a monster organ, bone, skull. Of course, we knew the skull was coming. Hide, bone, and bone. So that is enough to actually endeavor to innovate. Endeavor to innovate. We don't know what you got here either. This is your dead guy. You gonna flip it? Love juice. Hallelujah! Finally, get the love juice. Something got good happens to us. Mess. Something good. All right. Uh, the other problem is we do lose another population. So somebody's dead, and we also have the murderer coming up, which is probably gonna kill somebody, and we're probably gonna lose somebody else. In the end, everybody's dead. What a <laughs> joke. All right, uh, who's the least painful to lose? I would say probably one of the bowmen. Well, no, we need a bowman. So, one of the archers or one of the omegas. But one of the omegas, let's see, what's the difference being omega? The omegas have speed. Uh, these, This one has a double dash on them. Um, this omega is our beast. Yeah, we're not losing any of these people. Unless you want to throw out your bowman, if you want to kill your bowman. But that's a 15 XP that we're throwing away there. Um, I would say throw out somebody with no XP. I would assume that we would bring the Bowman if there was a big fight and we wanted to bring the A-Team. Yeah. So, I mean, if that's the case, then we hold the Bowman. If we don't care, then the Bowman's fine. No, we're keeping the Bowman. Let's throw out one of the other Archer kids. Okay. Right, I'm just counting, I'm just counting uh, males to females right now. Like we have uh, one, two... Killer Joe is dead. Which is bad because we're probably going to see somebody else die here now. Um, sorry, one, two, even, one, one woman. It's even. Then a dude. Okay, so uh, this person is minus one population dead. It just says minus one population, so they're kind of deleted. We don't get the resources off them. Yeah, that's awesome. We because we got the resources them. off them. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's just minus one population. So they're kind of just gone. So I'm just going to delete them. Yeah, I'm just going to delete them. They're not even a dead survivor. They're just gone. I mean, they, it's almost like they didn't exist. All right. Well, that was a little bit of horrible. We are now uh, returning survivors. We do have All right. to shuffle. Hang on a minute. Uh, I want to. I want to count something real quick. I'm healing and resting. Okay. Six. Uh, I'm gonna go through and take a look at these cards and see if there's any of those like duration deals. Another so, duration. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another duration. Eight. We would have had to outlast them eight more rounds versus the kill that we did. We didn't, uh... And applause just says, what? We just... You just it's over. Away. Yeah, it's over. So... What yeah. did we get for beating him? Is what the question? Could, yeah, I'm just saying, could we have survived... It? If we had rope doped yeah. them like the original Yeah, we could have. We could have. The eyes stay shut, everybody stays alive. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I'm sure it could have happened. So I think the attacking plan was not worth it. I nope. mean, we didn't know. This no, is we didn't time. know. It's the first time to beat him. But I'm just saying, in the, if for future, I think that straight up rope dope is pro. I mean, yeah. I don't know if we go for a level two or a level three hand, the rules might change too much. But well, we can see him right here. He's going to get uh, one more advanced card. He gets a uh, more speed, more damage, so he's going to hit us harder. He's going to hit us faster. Um, and then uh, yeah, so it's going to hurt. The only thing we have to worry about is the penalty, where he will give us broken ribs or just straight up kill us. Ten percent chance to straight up kill us. Otherwise, we suffer broken ribs. So we don't want to send our good people in. We're just going to send trash in. And, uh... I don't know if we should call our children trash, but... <laughs> that was the goal. I, I get the point. <laughs> All right. We gain endeavors. We only gain two. Because only two people came home. And one of them's not the extra endeavor dude. No. Yeah, there is an extra endeavor dude. 
Sorry, thank you. You gain, uh, when you're returning survivor, gain plus one endeavor, and we can use that for intimacy as well, which I think we're going to be using some intimacy this time around, too. You have an acanthus as well. All right. Timeline updating. Uh, murder's coming up, so we're going to lose more people. All right. Shuffle the settlement events. Here we go. I'm going to let you flip this. I'm tired of it. <laughs> For the love of all that is holy and good, please we need give me something the, decent. The ridiculous Olympics. Hey, I think it is. Triathlon of death. Yeah. Death Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> the ridiculous Olympics. Yeah. Some engages of games of skill. Player nominates a different survivor. Each nominated survivor determines the score for each possible contest. Survivor score determines their place. If the settlement has only one survivor, do not roll. All right. Movement attribute, understanding, and strength. These are the big things. We nominate um, each survivor. Each player nominates a different survivor. Every nominated survivor determines their score. So um, we're going to nominate... Well, it does say each player nominates a different survivor. There's only two of us, right? But we only nominate two people? But, I mean, I would think that... Uh, that we would nominate four because uh, that's the way they kind of intended it, right? Yeah, I mean, so, I don't know if this is like yeah. this game's meant for four players or whatever. But... Yeah, game's meant for four, but you can play it as less. Okay, so... Um, is it understand? Yeah, one is understanding, one is strength. And one's movement. And we gotta watch out for our tokens here as well, because we do have some tokens on the board. Let's just bring four newbies and let them just compete in an even field. Uh, here's a luck. Four newbies? I don't know if we have four newbies. Let's have a look. I think we do. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, we have three newbies and... Um, um, yeah, we do have four double people dash. who are pretty noob, but this All double right. dash is not a new person. Okay, well... And the gut is good with the axe, which is kind of risky to put him in there. But I mean, you know, what else are we going to do at this point, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cut the arm off would be kind of bad. I don't think we can do the love juice now and then do this, can we? No, uh, yeah, that's so. later. So we're, we're at the updating the timeline right now. So, um, okay. Um, I will take the double dash person because axe is my thing. And I'm taking sure. the two axe people. Okay. And then you're taking uh, the sword and the bow. Hey, this is like you and versus me. Yeah. Let's uh, let's put these people in their slots, you know, because they are going to get something. I'm going to stack up Corn Jog Joe here, move him off to the side. Let me clean up the showdown here. Okay. Uh, I've got the first one. Uh, this is the other axe person. Population, and this is the sword person, and this is your archer, Killer Joe. Um, I, I don't know where he went. Did you move him, Killer Joe? Yeah, I you put moved him in the him. graveyard. Oh, okay, good job. All right, this is our team: red, green, blue. Blue's never been out, but the rest of us have uh, minis. And, uh, white. I'm feeling pretty good about this, actually. Uh, we just gotta make sure that we don't have our tokens that are giving us any benefit. We have evasion, I have a luck token here. Um, which I probably don't... not supposed to have for some reason. <laughs> probably shouldn't have had that luck token. Whoops, oh well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move everything off the board here so that we know. Everything is just straight up what it's supposed to be on here. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, first, the race contest. This is uh, D10 plus your move. So everybody's move is five, I believe. Yep. Yep. Mine are both five. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring dice over here. There you go. 
All right, okay. so just straight up uh, roll because we can subtract five because we all equal five, right? So this is yep. just a straight up run here. All right, here we go. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I boys are speed apparently. Yeah. All right. So green is the failure. Green is fourth. So let's go start with the top one. First one is plus one permanent move once per lifetime. So white here um, is the omega with the honorable. So give him a plus one permanent move. Nice. This is the sword guy. So this is uh, the race. So I'm going to go ahead and write down race, race, race winner. But here, plus one month. There you go. Number two. Number two. Number two, plus one courage. That would be my archer. Number three gets a pair of rawhide boots. I guess I'll take that. And um, I'll put it up here. And number four gets the torn Achilles tendon, which <laughs> it, which uh, is pretty sounds pretty horrific. Torn Achilles tendon here. Um, this card at the end of the showdown. So until the end of the showdown, you suffer. Yeah, so it's not a big deal. It's just a kind of flavorful thing. So um, okay. yeah, you get to... Uh, ouch. Omega here just ripped his leg on the run. All right. Yep. Limping ain't easy. As we say, next. The debate. We're going to debate you. Oh, dear. 1d10 plus understanding. So i uh, got two understanding, one here. I got uh, one on Omega, which is the Swordsman, and I got zero on the Bowman. So plus two on red, plus one on green, plus one on white. Okay, here we go. Hey, that's pretty good. Ten, cool. nine. Oh. Oh! Eleven and an eight. So eleven, ten, nine. So white is first. So white gets we're, we're, bragging we're, we're, rights and a skull. We're breeding uh, smart people, though. Yeah, we did not archive the uh, settlement stuff, so I don't know if there's any skulls left. There are no skulls left. <laughs> what? So we get nothing. There's a skull right here. I mean, I thought there's a certain number of skulls. Well, actually, uh, we don't... Yeah, there is a certain number of skulls, and we have them all. Where are they? Right here. There's only one skull in the whole thing? Uh, Yeah. Oh, wow. So we don't get another one because we didn't archive it yet. So if anybody's wondering, right. what we would do in the actual game, the paper and pen and paper, uh, is that we would have this card sitting here, but we got to get down to this phase to archive our, archive our resources, which means we'd write them in our logbook, and then we'd reshuffle the deck. But since we have no skulls, we can't pull another skull, so we just basically, first place basically got nothing. Second place, which is my red guy uh, here. Just, just FYI before I forget. Yep. When we pulled that skull, I don't think we gave somebody insanity. All right. Well, some survivor, any survivor, yeah. survivor of your choice. We'll pull this open. Um, here's uh, your archer. I needs an insanity. Let's give it to him. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> gain plus one understanding to red, which is nice because this is the settlement phase, and the understanding gives me. Um, What's the bragging rights? Tinker. Rise? Nothing. Is it a card. Nope. You did wow. a good job. Wow. I got Tinker. Wow. Yeah, Tinker's Tinker, good. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. So, uh, Tinker's always... We always like more endeavors. Yeah. Yeah, Tinker's a good time. Tinker goes to here. So this is our tank, our new tank, by the way. He's actually pretty good at it. And uh, I'm going to roll on the table here. I rolled a two, which means uh, we, and when, if we innovate, we draw a plus one card. We draw one more. That's good. I'll take that too. So we're going to get five when we innovate time yep. to look at? Yep. Wow. All right. And uh, next one, survivor gets too angry and must skip the next hunt. <laughs> so, is that, uh, is that, uh, white. Red or, or white. no, uh, that's green. Sorry. Green has to skip. Okay. Green has a torn Achilles tendon as well. And, and then the you gain apathetic. the apathetic is your blue guy, which is kind of bad. But I remember you can't spend any survival. Well, then I better become immortal then. 
you cannot gain or use survival. You cannot gain courage. Cure this disorder if you have 8 plus understanding. So that's bad for this guy. Very well, bad. we're going to get ourselves some uh, frenzy drink or something then. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, the fight contest plus our strength. Plus strength. Um, I got plus one, plus one. Everybody gets a plus one, so we'll just cancel out and roll a straight. Uh, see who wins. All right. Now, this is bad because whoever loses suff loses their arm. So it better not be the tank. And the tank's going to probably be okay. Hey, it's your Blue. empathetic guy. Can't right. shoot a bow now. Yep, can't shoot a bow, so he's a bowman with no bow. All right, first place, me. I gain a plus one weapon proficiency. Hey, I'll take that because yeah. that gives me uh, proficiency in axe. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Actually, when attacking with an axe, if your wound attempt fails, you may ignore it and attempt to wound the selected hit location again. Nice. <laughs> yeah, our tank is getting tough, son. All right, we'll take that. Uh, plus one permanent strength for number two. That's green, so green is going to get a plus one permanent strength. Number three. Gain a random fighting art. That's pretty good. Yes, that's pretty good. Here you go. I'll let you do the honors. Survey says. Your swordsman, too. Oh. Carapace of Will. You gain the Steadfast Survivor status card, which is right over here. Um... Whoops. <laughs> no rod. I was going to say, that's, that's your prize, not mine. There you go. All right. During your act, you may spend your movement to gain a steadfast. Limit once per round, and when you're knocked down, lose all your steadfasts. And then it says, when you are attacked, you have a 2+, plus. you ignore a hit. Nice. Pretty Defense. good deal. Yeah, pretty good deal there. That's a good card to have. And uh, finally, you lost an arm. Wah wah. But we don't care. You're apathetic. You're you, this hey. guy got his arm chopped off. He's like, whatever. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Def Leppard had a one arm drummer too. We can make this work. Oh, all right, there you go. Dismembered. You can now uh, not activate any weapons uh, that have two handed uh, ability. And you're a bowman, so it makes it even better. <laughs> we'll, we'll sort it out. Yeah, I gotta put this uh, Twilight Sword and Corn Dog Joe here. So. Okay, uh, and that is the end of our uh, fun little endeavor. I think that was pretty cool. I do like that Olympics. Yeah, I enjoy that a lot, even though sometimes it hurts. <laughs> yeah, the Torn Achilles is going away, and I'm just packing up this survivor. I'm gonna untick the skip hunt. This person is not going anywhere. Um, and then okay. We're done with that. Next on the timeline is Murder. Murder was the case that they gave me. Good song. Someone in the settlement has been murdered. Survivor with the highest hunt XP is the victim. <laughs> they are dead. The murderer of the survivor uh, with the highest insanity was caught in the act and is awaiting punishment. Oh, boy. <laughs> they didn't give us a choice here. All right. Yeah, we, yeah, I kind of forgot about first. that. We got the highest or whatever. All right. First and second. Highest Insanity and Highest Hunt XP. Highest Hunt XP is probably your Archer. Um, or or the, the, um, sir, the sir, Savior. They're the same. So we get to choose which one gets murdered. The, oh joy. <laughs> because uh, the Archer... The, okay, let's look at the Archer for a second. Uh, no name Archer I vote here. The, sir, I vote the uh, savior, savior, guys. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and kill the savior then. If we if we roll another lantern, we can get another savior on the baby list, so. The savior dies, and we actually get an uh, item for this. So that's the good news. Here's your resource. That was your savior. Come go on. Flip more, it. We're going to eat the savior. We find the body. We're like, I'm love not, potion. I'm not. Okay, love potion number organ. Yeah. All right, and then uh, the survivor with the highest insanity is caught. Who has the high sand? I know some of us have like 20. Corndog Joe has 20. <laughs> Corndog Joe is the murderer. Wow. <laughs> Corndog Joe lost it. Our matchmaker lost it. And he is... got jealous of the savior. All right. So we, we have our collective principles, collective toil. So we do have to roll a d10. 
And then uh, I'm going to figure out what happens here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and roll it. Corn Dog Joe is usually green, so we're going to go ahead and not roll green. We're going to roll red, because red's punishing him. Okay, ready? Here we go. Uh, a skull. Not good. The murderer is banished. Add stranger in the dark. Oh, boy. Settle event to the timeline three years from now. This this year, the departing survivor feels a strong sense of community. Uh, the departing survivors feel a strong sense of community. Each gains plus one a random fighting art. I would have preferred seven plus because we would have got Corn Dog Joe back and he would have been immortal. Uh. Instead, we banished him. Now we have Stranger in the Dark in three years. And then when we go out on a hunt next. One, two, three. Or hunters get a free random biting art? Uh, yeah. All four oh. of them get a random fighting art. Okay. So, Corndog Joe, our uh, spearman, is banished. Corndog Joe, if I'm not mistaken, is Agathon, right? It was. Yeah, so... He's gone. I'm gonna delete Basically, him. Basically, uh, we should have we should have seen this coming. We got some schizophrenic. Don't feel too bad. Goes. He has the Twilight Sword. He was going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a matter of time. He uh. just took off early. He decided to kill somebody with his Twilight Sword and go early. Yeah, except he killed my dude. Yeah. Bye bye. He's. I mean, my other bowman doesn't have an arm. This one just got murdered. What is it with hating on archers? Delete. We didn't have any Unless, uh, uh, oh, I gotta get him off the game board first. Okay. So, Corn Dog Joe, delete him from here. And then I can delete him from here. Be sure you wanna delete, delete him? him? Bye bye, Corn Dog Leader. I thought you were epic. You're no one. I would have liked him to come back. That would have been, Immortal would have been really nice for him. The other thing is, he had the matchmaker, and now that's gone. We've lost two yeah. matchmakers this fight. So, there went that. Yeah. That hurts. Stranger in the dark. That, I don't think that can be anything good. That's Corn Dog yeah. Joe coming back for vengeance for banishing him. He's insane as it is. Now he's off in the darkness, living, doing whatever he does. All right. Uh, this has been a terrible year so far. We only have five people alive, and one can't even go on the hunt. At least one of them doesn't have an arm. Yeah. We update our death count, check our milestones, which are already done. Now we're going to develop. Okay. First things first. Monster. High bone, right? Yep. Spend the endeavor. Sacrifice these things. Toss the endeavor here. And we're drawing five cards. One. I'm going to put them up here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to flip three of these. You're going to flip two. Is that fair enough? The reason I'm flipping three yeah. is because I... I need to, to pull something extremely good because Corndog's gone, and he was our leader. Okay. Momento Mori. Nominate a survivor that died in the last showdown and roll a d10. Then we can um, gain courage and understanding of the dead survivor, gain the hunt experience of the dead survivor, or nothing. You know, we could send... Uh... Well, I don't know. Let's see what else we got first. Plan of Death. The enduring strength of your clan passes through generations. All newborn survivors gain plus one accuracy, plus one strength, plus one evasion. That is awesome. I'm the papa. I don't even need to flip Storytelling, over pass. Pass. Your turn. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Unless it's a surge. Pass. Face painting, partner. No partnership. Pass. Face painting, I'm not excited about. Hey, clan of death. Come on down. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy, all right. As we like to say, that's a spicy meatball. Yeah, I, I like it. Plus one strength, plus one evasion, plus one accuracy. That's going to help us in future fights. That's going to be a pretty big thing right there. All right. All right, we still have two endeavors left. We have uh, Fresh Acanthus here. Um, we don't... We do have Dried Acanthus... We do have our scrap sword back. We brought it back because we lost it before from some stupid mistake that we made. Um, 
I vote augury augury. Or turn an organ into love potion or something like that. Remember the dung beetle night there? We had the uh, underground soul black harvest. Black harvest is where we we have to bury the gear, right? Yeah. Um, let's see. I just want to try to remember this. Underground so that's what we did. Yeah, so that was where we have to bury... Uh, we have to bury this thing. This uh, regenerating blade, right? We need to get that in the ground eventually here. Um, yeah. So that is something that we have to consider. And that is done through uh, the subterranean thing. But we're going to have to use people to do it. So I would say not this turn. This time we need to do stuff. First things first, love juice. Love juice. Love juice it up. Sacrifice the love juice. We need to have good kids, okay? Uh, this is big. We're, we're, we're dying here. So, our, our archer could give another bowman our berserker here axe, or um, this person a sword. What do we want to do? I think we need a bow. We got the bow at the bottom, but he's apathetic. So, okay. Uh, your archer is a female. She's almost retired. She's pretty much... Uh, at the end of her life right now. So she's going to be going out uh, with this uh, Omega, well, the plus two strength Omega. <laughs> it has to be one on this page. Uh, it's the only man we have left? Yeah. <laughs> the only man we have left! This honorable dude is yeah. going out with, uh, old lady archer up here. Okay? Can you can you say harem? <laughs> He's <laughs> Unexpected harem. Alright, here we go. I'm rolling for the dude. I'm rolling for the lady. Oh, you gotta die up there. Okay, hold on. Here we go. I've just killed him, I think. Uh oh. No! Killed her. Um, this male survivor mourns a random. He gets a. He gets three insanity. Uh, all right, she is dead. <laughs> he gains plus three insanity and a random disorder. He's already sitting this fight out. So random disorder. Let's hope it's immortal. It is honorable, but he already has it, so he doesn't get anything. That works for me. <laughs> and we get another resource. Jeez. Here you go. Hopefully it's uh, more love juice. Because we need it! Hide. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, um, the next thing then would be to use pottery and gain more love juice from an organ. Yep. So here goes this organ. Um, and we are sacrificing that, so we have more love juice. Oh, old, la old lady bow woman, did you turn to the Deadpool? Old lady bow woman. I think it's this old lady bow woman right here, right? I don't know. We don't really give them names anymore. <laughs> <laughs> did we ever? <laughs> did we ever? Yeah. Let's drop her in the pool here. Look at that graveyard of yuck. <laughs> hey, we're fighting. <laughs> Our body over there. Well, I mean, we did eat it. Um, <laughs> this is a great strategy. Oh my god! <laughs> it never ends. Ladies and gentlemen, we're laughing because if we didn't, we'd cry. Yeah. All right. Well, we've only got four left, and one can't go on the hunt. <laughs> so, well, what are we doing? We're making love potion, and we got to get somebody who can go on the hunt. Yep. Uh, it's going to be the man, and it's going to be the other archer here. At the bottom, because she's yep. apathetic. And, and I think they're brother and sister, but... Um, we don't care at this point. <laughs> no, we just incest is we the just, only option. All we right. just don't care. Here goes the man. He's having a bad day. He's going to do it again. He's going to kill her again. Oh, no. Yeah. We're going to have Lantern. a savior. Savior. 
<laughs> I would have liked to have twins a little bit more than a savior. At least that worked out properly, though. It said we get a savior. All right, savior. Okay, we're back to the savior again. Uh, we're going red again, or uh, what are you thinking? I can't remember. I got to read. Uh, evasion, strength to get all the uh, big damage in, or luck to try to get crits. Uh, and the butcher's coming up. I'm thinking uh, if we want to fight the butcher and not, we're not we're lose, run away. we didn't get run away, which would have probably been one you need to pull. I thought that's what pictograph was. Did we have it? Oh, we do have it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, your call, because it's somebody you're probably going to control if you want it. Um, I don't mind the evasion, but... Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking, actually. And I, I was thinking, give, it, give them to you and make them a tank. We already, uh, let's see, yeah, let's see what we've got here. Do we have a tank? We have, we do have a tank already, who is a double dash uh, berserker with tumble. He's good tank. He doesn't have any evasion, though. My vote's evasion, make my tank. But if you want to overrule me, I'm fine with that. All right, let's make him a tank then. Why not? So this is Dream of the Crown, so we're going to go ahead and spawn him. New survivor, and it's going to be a man. Savior. What's the name of that? Uh, uh, crown? Dream of uh, Crown. So he gets plus one green. Affinity. And plus one evasion. And we're going to go ahead and add his evasion in here. And he also gets accuracy, strength, and what was the other thing? Don't remember, but it was awesome. <laughs> it's like right over here. Uh, I just put it up. Let me see. I got a... Evasion. So he gets another evasion. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. And uh, he was born of uh, the axe wielder and the archer. So it's going to be axe again. Omega. <laughs> axe. Uh, axe plus zero. So there we have it. We got a lot of axe users right now. I say we lean into it. Somebody, uh, oh, this person right here is um, our man, but he's not going anywhere. He has the uh, inability to go anywhere. Also, um, I get. Um, yeah, when you trigger age two, which I don't have, I gain the grace of uh, Dormentus fighting art. Uh, I get plus one additional hunt XP. You may not wear other gear. If you trigger the white, okay. And uh, you may declare blah, 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 blah. And I can add uh, armor to myself. If you really want to push your luck, you can eat that tick for a third evasion. <laughs> I don't think we need to afford to kill more of our people. It's only a 30% chance of dying. Are you saying that uh, you believe our chances after what we've just been through? I'm saying that we've got Yen. It's time for a little Yang. All right. I'm going to eat the tick. All right. If you die, I take full responsibility for this. The question is, do we want it on the uh, epic Thanks. new guy? Savior, yeah. We're going to double down because we only got five people. All right. Well, Savior's usually red, so I'm going to pull a red die over here. All right. Here we go. All right, I'm going to roll it just to see. See? That's why I eat stuff. <laughs> Tick grabs the roof of your mouth, sucks all your blood, you die. All right, well, you good, look at the good news. We get another basic resource. We get another basic resource. And it is another hide. Wow, look at all that hide. Remember yeah. at the beginning of this game when we were just begging for hide? <laughs> yeah. Um, now, the, bottom, the problem now... Is simple. Uh, we don't have somebody in the second slot to go out. So that was one That's, of the reasons I thought that wasn't a good idea. But you know, why not push the luck? We're gonna we're gonna hunt a level one with three people. It'll be fine. Yeah, but we still got an endeavor left, and uh, we still got a fresh acanthus here. 
which is probably not going to do much of anything. Let's see what we can do with our endeavor here. Um, no more love juice. That's gone. We could try to just uh, have a baby, or we could try to get somebody with ambidextrous now. Babies. Um, but that would be a augury, augury, and I think nobody's left that has any understanding, so I would think that uh, it would not be the ideal way. Oh, wait, no. Double Dash has three understanding. Old Double Dash. And Double Dash would uh, give a plus one to the roll. All right, it is babies it is, because this is the only way we're going to survive. Double Dash is rolling for augury. Good old Double Dash just rolled a two. So he gains a survival. Which is not terrible, I guess. Alright. And we're only going to get three endeavors coming home now, so this is our departing people. Population. We do have five people. Wait a minute. Oh, because uh, the savior's dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second savior we've killed this lantern year. <laughs> you know what? This is a lantern year first. <laughs> How many saviors have you killed in a lantern year? I challenge you to kill at least two. Try it. <laughs> See if you can copy the luck that we've had today. All right. <laughs> um, we have an open slot. Yep. Omega's going here, the tank. Omega's probably going to take a name here. I'm just going to name him Dashing, Dashing Omega. So he does have double dash, tumble. He's all shifty and uh, he loves his dax. I'm um, changing the weapon type to fist and tooth. You're going to lose uh, the... I can't do it. I only got one arm. Ooh. And you're apathetic too. Yeah. Why not uh, just take a sword? A scrap sword instead. Why fist and tooth when you can take a scrap sword... You can actually dump because that character into this arm, slot. I'm gonna have to start all over again. You, this character's sword too. Yeah. You want to go fist and tooth? I'm gonna let you go fist and tooth. I'm not all gonna right. say anything else. I mean, we can get another. Uh, we can get we get some more defense on this board. We can get some more. Uh, you don't uh, need utility. your bow. You don't need the arrows either. Yeah, that's all coming off. I can drum with one hand. Um, I would say you only have to wound with the fist and tooth. Why not take the sword anyway? You know what I'm saying? Not the worst idea. I will give you the sickle. So that then, you can uh, harvest some stuff for us. Do I got a canthus with this dude? No, I but do. I can give you the screaming bracers. I do actually have a canthus. And I I'll can... bring in the screaming bra bracers is fine. We'll we'll just load up on a canthus. I got no armor, so I'll bring this dried acanthus to stay alive and we'll get some acanthus. No, the the dry to, oh dry decanthus. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Unless you want to run two people. No, I'm I'm good with just one. If you're, I mean, this is kind of your peeps, so I'm gonna let you have them. Um. Yeah, but I volunteered to kill off yours. <laughs> I think at this point we're in big trouble. So we're just uh, <laughs> you know, trying to live through this. And this I is, think that, this is that this is that moment when they're all like jammed up inside the building at. Uh, Helms deep, and they're on their horses, ready to ride out into the uh, orc army. This is—we don't know that the but that the rest of them are coming. So this is our this is our moment where it looks bleak. Yeah, but you know what? The other thing is, um, we do have a lot of uh, hide resources and stuff. So uh, maybe we could consider. Um, we wanted to. We could make an entire set of rawhide gear. Just uh, you know, if you want to make a fist and tooth person. Um, I mean, it depends if you want to run with all that stuff or if you want to make an entire rawhide set. I, I don't know what uh, I'm thinking here. Um, well, we're not doing anything there. Um, or Actually, we can just sit about, on our resources. I'm going to dump the scrap sword and I'm going to take the fecal slave.
That scrap like, sword is a big wounding machine there. But if you're just if you're really dead set on going for the uh, you know um, just sticking with fist and tooth to the end here. Let's, well, let's, I mean, I got the sickle if nothing else. But uh, no, not. I wouldn't. Oh, well, I mean, if we go after a lion, which we could definitely go after, I'm going hardcore utility with this person. I mean, if we go after an antelope, we don't really need anything he drops. But I mean, we do. We could use the stuff. You know, we do have cooking and things, so there's that. Right. And he does have a bunch of acanthus, which is really nice to harvest. However, we do get acanthus from the sickle, as well as when we arrive with the bracers. So right. there is that. And the lion might be worth getting, just because we could get the frenzy drink, which is what you were kind of looking for. Yeah. Um, the catarium, And uh, we might be able to pull... Let's see. The... Um, Let's see the the claw-headed arrow, which we were kind of hoping for, or even the the katars, which we were kind of hoping for in the past. It's just kind of an option, you know. Uh, the whisker harp we have, so we don't really need anything else. The other thing is like if we go after our buddy the uh, antelope, the only thing I could really see that's really useful off him might be the blood paint. Which is, uh, remember the blood paint? Activate yeah. a weapon on the left and right, which we were really hoping to get. It's really, you know, the left and right, which means you could activate fist and tooth and something else. Right. Cannot be used with two-handed weapons, so left and right of this card. These are two separate attacks. So it's not just a speed boat buff. You could actually put this between two, uh, like your, your fist and tooth and... A sword and then you could do both or it could go between the uh, sword and shield or something like that you know yeah so that's pretty powerful so I am I'm you're on board with, with the... that you pick the target boy we could use both I mean if we go after the I'd say let's go after the antelope the screaming level one screaming antelope simply because it'll give us a whole bunch of resources we can try to harvest him for resources I mean, uh, considering the scrap sword does crit on a nine, your fist and tooth is going to crit on a nine. Um, and then uh, we're going to get a plus one endeavor because I come back. So we lost somebody in this fight, but we're actually going to we're actually going to gain another endeavor because we got the tinker coming along. Yeah, I'm not heavily invested in this gal. She's going to go out a couple of times and get some fist and tooth and whatever, but mostly she's just going to stay home and have kids. That's why I'm not too worried about this one. She's going to come along and she's going to put some poo on herself and then she's going to go get all those plants and... You lost your uh, wet proficiency, by the way. And you switched. Yep. Yep. But, I mean, that was, that was always going to happen. Yeah. What we need is uh, kids, and to we get kids, kids, we need uh, love juice, and we need organs, and we need um, lots and lots of acanthus to be rolling on the uh, table here for augury, and lots of, uh, we need lots of stuff, guys. Lots and lots and lots of we stuff. We need uh, lots of everything. Oh, guess what? We got one more endeavor because of cooking. I forgot about that. Oh, nice. But we're not done with the endeavor yet. Um, that would be another augury attempt, right? I would say yes. I mean, unless you want to try to get the ambidextrous, but I think that at this point... Kids, kids, and more kids. That's what we're going for. All right. Plus one to this roll. Oh, please! Oh, oh we lost a resource, but I gained an understanding. So That's there goes nice. uh, the acanthus, I think. Because we're going to get more of that. Yep. And uh, I'll take another understanding here. Yep. Actually, uh, unless you want to give it to your apathetic person, I guess I, I already rolled it, though. Yeah, I was thinking that, too, but we'll we'll put that in the hopper for later. That's a lot of understanding you'd have to get to get rid of that apathetic. Yep. We'd blood leeches, or uh, leeching would be the better bet here with bloodletting. Yep. Try to get rid of that with the bloodletting there. All right, so it's not total loss here, but the dismembered arm hurts some. But if we get the, uh, you know, blood paint, that would kind of be nice give us something else to think about there all right anything else we forgot 
think we're good. No, I think we're good. Check the timeline one last time. Close the battle UI. So, uh, yeah. Wow, look at 15. It's a pretty bare year. That's weird. Yeah, but uh, 16, we get to deal with the butcher. Run away. Run away. With uh, no people. So we're just basically going to destroy our entire population running. And the Hooded Knight's coming back saying, hey, where's Corndog? We're like, did you know he just like walked off with the sword in the darkness? Why are you even here, dude? He's still alive. He's out there somewhere with that Twilight Sword. And he's like, oh, really? Okay, here's another Twilight Sword. Like, how many of these things <laughs> do you have? You got? Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is what we're dealing with. <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> it uh, might not work when you eat an insect. And it might not work using a bow with only one arm. And it might not work to lose a population as a reward, but I think what we can all agree on as our takeaway from tonight's excursion is mosquitoes suck. <laughs> yes, I completely agree. And that bug was a pretty bad tick mosquito looking thing. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed us getting our settlement ripped apart by murders and the hand and all kinds of uh, terrible rolls with the tick we brought something in that eats our people <laughs> it never ends all right next time we are hunting a level one antelope because we only have three people and we desperately need stuff and ha hunting a level two is only inviting disaster at this point so um, we're going in with only uh, three wheels on our race car Thanks for joining, everybody. Hope you had a great time. Take care. See you in the next one. Peace out.